sneak, I'm sneaking in. Tara Hitchcock. Right. Tara. 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 Theaters. Tara, if there's anybody who's trouble in this press conference. It's got to be you. <laughs> no, oh, me. Oh, you, you might be right. Tara? My husband would agree with you. Okay. Okay. You know, <clears throat> you got that fabulous combination of being blousy and ballsy. Oh, oh I love it. All right. That's a t-shirt that, slogan. By the way, yeah. And by the way, that that's the girl you go out with. In her. <laughs> blousy and ballsy. Bl blousy and ballsy. That's like a clothing shop name. I'm not kidding you. That's <laughs> Yes. Okay. Blousy and ballsy. It is yours. I know you all have a history. Mine almost goes back as long as yours. This was one of the first junkets I ever oh, did. Oh, and wow. you signed this for me in 1996. Man, oh man. It says blousy and ball. No, it says God bless. <laughs> it says God bless <laughs> Tom Hanks. So thank you. And obviously the history is a big reason people are going to love this movie. But I am curious, as long as you've known each other, what is the one thing? Because in this movie, the camera angle stays the same. Life moves and changes. What is the one thing about the person sitting next to you that in all these years of knowing each other has not changed? We're still laughing. Oh okay. my God, that's all we, we laugh do. so much. There is an ease that has existed from the first time we said hello. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and that's such a gift in this business. I will say too, we have also gone off and had this kind of interesting checkered careers because you have mm. created, you have directed, You've done it all, and I have so too, you. Yep. you had that. So we know how not to waste time and muscle. Does that, does that make sense? Mm. And that helps us focus on, you know, what the red dot, the, thing, yeah. the reason that we're there. You're not going out dressed like that. We're at the right place at the right time making this movie. There's a huge library of images of Tom Hanks and Robin Wright at different ages, and we can process it and basically put it on like makeup. I know they sent that really cool featurette about how the technology that's used here. And I would imagine it is super cool to see yourself at different ages, but I would also imagine it's gotta be emotional. Did anything hit you in a strange way as you were seeing yourself and interacting in real time? Was it, you know, a unique response to the technology? Or was it just cool? <laughs> <laughs> I can't read that it was face. A, it, was a, it was a fine tool, you know. It was really, it was. You, it, it required a, a, a not caring, you know, because we had to look at it. As a, <clears throat> where are our shoulders? Where is, where is that, you know, kinetic energy that you carry with you when you're 17 and 22 or 28 years old? And then along with that, too, comes the... The eyes. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you see the real youth. Yeah. L lack of life experience. And you have to re-remember, oh, I didn't know all the things that I know. I'm not as jaded when I'm playing that age. Yeah. But that's what the visual tool did for us, was gave us the innocence in the eyes. And then we had to do everything else physically. It was technical when we were looking at playback. We right. were trying to master shoulders. Neck right. is different when you're 21, you know? Right. And then you throw that technical out and just try to inhabit it when the time mm. comes and you realize it might have gotten close, might have gotten close, might have gotten close. But we just, the great luxury of it, quite frankly, was every scene started at the beginning mm -hmm. and we played it through in real time to the end. Mm -hmm. There was no stop and start. There was no, wait a minute, let's go back. No, you had to do it all the way through. So these individual, individual moments lived specifically in real time and maybe they were a minute and 17 seconds long, or maybe mm -hmm. it was a minute and 12 seconds long, uh, maybe, you know, whatever. And that was, that's a luxury because yeah. we know once we get it, we'll be there. I have to ask quickly before they wrap me about the props. So much of this too is recognizing, uh, I mean, things that, that bring you right back in whatever decade you are from. Silly question, were there any props that you all personally contributed to any of the sets that maybe you had, you know, the MASH, I saw you in a MASH t-shirt, I thought, oh, I wonder That's if, right. did anyone have props from your own collection of stuff you've saved? Uh, th there was a TV uh, yeah. by General Electric that was the TV that lived in our house that where I literally watched Apollo 8 go around, you know, I, right. I, it, it was a, it was, bit, and I took a picture of it and sent it to my siblings and said, do you guys recognize this? And they said, the TV from Johnson Street, you know? It was, and, I, and I, it was a time machine for me. I just, I just, you know, oh. I just looked at it, looked at it, looked at it, because what I should have done is just gone down on the, on the rug and looked at it like that, because that's where I had watched it for about seven years of my life, you know, that was that. I heard that your character is actually named after Robert's dad. Was he also a yeller? Because uh, you're I a mean, yeller in this. I think that's a, <laughs> a 
really, I think that's a question for, <laughs> for Robert to answer, okay. but I would assume so. <laughs> um, he means I based well. them on, on sort of th- uh, three father figures in my life, and I know those men, and they... I mean, we meet Al. He grew up during the Depression. He's just come back from the Second World War. He is, has um, PTSD that he's self-medicating with, with alcohol, and now he has children, and and he puts all of his energy, parental energy, into I got to keep a roof over their heads. I got to keep them. I got to keep food on the table. I, everything comes from a sort of place of of, of fear, and um, and he bless him misses all the wonderful things about being a parent and yeah. and a husband and luckily for Al he gets this sort of final act and isn't it incredible that everything you just described takes place with one camera angle <laughs> the entire yeah, time. My story, I mean it's amazing and my story is yeah. just one the tip part of the iceberg of yeah a, a, of a you know epic tale that Robert has placed in this one Mm, yep. position on earth. Yeah, obviously you play Tom's dad in this, which yes. must be fascinating. And I've read obviously about how they did that with the camera where you can see him de-aged and he's still right in front of you. And the whole thing is just in, in insane to me. It must be interesting to see yourself younger and older, but was it emotional at all? Was any of watching that emotional? Yes, I, I found it It was great. For me, you know, I'm looking at myself at 23 years old on one screen and at 52 then or 51 when we made it. And the young man looked more real to me. Wow. That's just insane the, to me. The 50-year-old the in this just didn't look like me. I didn't, but I really recognized that kid. Does that speak to what's internal then for you? I just think we all very feel very much younger than we are, <laughs> yeah. and and it's a su- surprise. I mean, there are things that I don't miss about being young. Boy, it's nice to get up in, in the morning without your knees hurting. <laughs> this may be a silly question. So much of it also is the set design and the things we see in the different time periods that, that decorate the different people's homes and, and, and time periods, and I was wondering, is anything in there from your personal collection of whatever decade? Did you add anything from no. maybe something you'd save? Okay, there was nothing of Paul's. No, I think that's, you know, no, there was nothing. And my childhood obviously wasn't in a, a suburban salt box American right. house. Right. <laughs> you probably noticed. Yeah. Um, uh, so, yeah, no. Um, but I, I felt, I've lived here for 23 years, you know, um, in America. And those, I know those houses. Uh, It does, I know what Thanksgiving is like in those houses. Yeah. I know when I go to bed at night in those houses and I hear the argument going on in the next bedroom. (laughs) I, I I know that world. And so it felt very familiar to me. I don't miss being here. I'm here. I'm glad you're here. This was our home. We lived here.